Hey, how's it going guys? So recently I was doing some analysis work and the work I was doing requires importing and analyzing a large volume of data. Just to give you an idea that the total data set size is about two terabytes. And after about a week, I noticed that my VS Code has been running really slow. I did some research and found that VS Code cache your data file for a period of time depending on what build you are using. If you are using the insider build, VS Code is going to cache your data file for about 7 days. But if you are using a stable build, uh, VS Code is going to keep the data file cache for about 3 months. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete the cache data file in case if your VS Code is running really slow because you have too much uh, cache file uh, stored in the temporary folder. So this method only applies to Windows users since I don't own a, a Mac. But you want to first of all go to your C drive and under the C drive you want to go to users folder and you want to go to username. So my username is jjin and under your username folder you should go to app data. Uh, so here if you see uh, that VS code which is, a, which is a hidden folder and that's for your extension. So ignore that and go to app data. Oh just make sure that you uh, show the hidden folders as well. So in this case under view and I make sure that the hidden items uh, is checked. So at this point you want to go to roaming and under roaming you want to look for code. So the code folder is for uh, VS Code. And within the code folder there are two folders. Uh, one is the cache folder and one, the other one is the cache data folder. So you want to delete uh, everything in both folders. So I'm going to actually, oops, actually let me undo delete. So I just cleaned the, the cache folder yesterday. So right now, okay, and you can see that the file size is about uh, 32.6 megabytes. I mean, it's not big, but still, I mean, when VS Code is caching uh, that type of file size, uh, it, I mean, it does impact uh, the performance sometimes. Now delete all the folders in the cache data folder and go back to the uh, pre's folder. And you want to go to the cache uh, cache folder. And within the cache folder, these are another separate uh, data files. So here, uh, the total file size is about 5.8 megabytes. And so delete all the uh, files. Okay. So right now I'm using the VS Code. And so right now the VS Code is uh, running. So let me close that. Now if I try again. And that's going to delete all the cache files. And at this point, you can relaunch the VS Code. So let's say, uh, let me go back and let me just do code dot. Next time when you start uh, building your application, you should see huge improvements on the speed performance. All right, guys. So that's everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully, you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.